friends are going to be so amused when you tell them what happened to your face this weekend. Uh, yeah. They'll be amused, all right. Have a good day, son. Oh, but leave the porterhouse. I'm barbecuing tonight. Uh, hey, guys. How's it going? Oh, you know, pretty good, Teach. It's just... <gasps> Yeah, man, how'd you get that thing? What thing? I don't know what you're talking about. That shiner! I haven't seen so many colors on one face since Crackers the Clown chirped his chips in our classroom. I must confess, your black eye is an impressive example of ruptured blood vessels of the ocular region. If you guys don't mind, I'd rather not talk about it. Oh, now look at that thing. Man, leave it to T.J. to get into a Class A scuffle. Yeah, makes you wish you'd been there, don't it? You don't really think T.J. got in a fight, do you? Although T.J. didn't confess to any misdoings, all evidence clearly suggests a physical altercation. Maybe he finally gave that big mouth loss in what's been coming to him. Or perhaps he was defending one of the little people, a downtrodden soul who needed his help. Well, whatever it was he did, I bet T.J. risked his life doing it. Wow, what a guy. He's a hero, and he doesn't even want anyone to know. So, Ted Weiler doesn't want anyone to know, eh? Well, I'll just see what I can do about that. The 16th president of the United States was revered the world over for his fortitude, his honesty, and the... Is it true? Is what true? Saving a whole nursery school from a pack of unchained pit bulls? You rock! What are you guys talking about? TJ, do you have something you'd like to share with the class? Uh, no, ma'am. Actually, I... <gasps> Good goddess! What happened to your eye, TJ? Well, uh... uh... Right on, TJ! Fight the power! Gee, TJ, you're a real hero. Will you guys quit it with the hero stuff? I told you, it's not like that. After you. Behold, our hero! After you, TJ. Heroes don't wait in line. You first. I insist. A slice of pepperoni, please. Ethel, it's him, the hero kid. We made this special pie for you. But I can't afford a pizza that big. Oh, forget about it. It's her way of saying thanks for busting that bakery holdup ring and saving them jelly donuts. But, but, thanks! And my dad said there was no such thing as a free lunch. Hey, it's pretty cool having you here for a friend. Okay. Listen, guys, there's something I should let you know. Weiler! Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's Gelman. I knew this day was too good to be true. I just knew it. Don't worry, Gus. TJ's got it under control. Don't you, Teej? Oh, man. Here goes the other eye. I've been looking for you, Detweiler. Okay, okay. Just let me have it and let's get this over with. Oh, who ruined the surprise? Cookies! Triple chocolate chip. My granny stayed up all night baking them for me. But better you should have them, hero. But I'm no... Heroes don't wait in line? Heroes don't pay? Heroes get cookies? Okay, I give up. You want a hero? I'll be your hero. Class, I understand we have a hero in our midst. A kid who saved an entire platoon from a secret squadron of tofu-crazed vegetarians. You know how we treat heroes in my gym class, Deadweiler? Exceedingly well? Absolutely. You, Deadweiler, will enjoy a four-man no-kill zone while the rest of the cowards play bombardment. <laughs> oh, right, my favorite. Tender. So then you had to swim through shark-infested waters? Not saying I did, not saying I did. It's good to be the hero. Girls, this is what tasty glass of lemonade. Thank you, it's important, and we totally have another surprise. Like, follow up, our secret candy spa. Take forever. Leave this to El Hero. <clears throat> All in a hero's day's work. Halt! You there, come forward. Hey there, Bob. Silence! <gasps> On your knees! Fucking Bob, this is all a big mistake! Hand me my royal staff! Something tells me our hero's journey just came to an end. 
explain? After you quelled that kindergarten uprising? What's to explain? Huh? In the name of all royalty everywhere, I knight you, Sir TJ the Brave. <sighs> and I further decree that tomorrow shall be known as Detweiler Day. <laughs> and what a day it will be. You sure seem to have had a change of heart about that black eye, champ. Yeah, today you seem almost proud of it. Well, I guess it just took a while for me to accept myself for who I am. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. <laughs> hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. Today to celebrate that Wilder Day, a day honoring this hero kid next to me. Let us begin by showering him with our thanks in the form of stuff. Well, what are you waiting for? Bring on the gifts. Announcing Sam and Dave, the diggers. We would like to present to you the coolest thing we ever dug up. A bicentennial quarter. Whoa, that's from the 70s. Announcing the hustler kid. Check it out. A genuine Swiss crafted Beanie McChim pocket watch. Made in China. Cool. Announcing the guru kid. Oh, mighty hero, it is only befitting that a man-child as enlightened as you have the crown of rags, symbolizing your great inner strength and courage. Uh, thanks. I'll wear it later. Corn chip girl! Don't tell me. You're giving me corn chips. Not all of them, sir. Just my most cherished chip. See? It's in the shape of Abraham Lincoln. <sighs> Gee, thanks. I'll make sure to put it in a special place. Like in my mouth. And now, Sir TJ, you shall regale us with your story. My story? Yes, the story of how you became a hero. Tell us all, from start to finish, and don't leave out any details. Well, okay, sure. Um, it all started with a call from the Pentagon. Yeah, that's it, the Pentagon, and... Theodore! Huh? What? Who said that? Down here, in your hand. Honest Abe? Don't you think this lie has gone on long enough? But Abe, they're throwing me a day here. I didn't get my own day by telling lies. But I didn't lie. Not yet, anyway. Who's he talking to? I have no idea. Look, TJ, my boy, sometimes letting people think something is true is just as bad as lying in the first place. Oh, sure, you didn't mean to let this story get out of hand, but if you don't put things straight, you'll have to live with it for the rest of your life. Tell the truth, son. It's the only way. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. Corn chip girl, I cannot accept this corn chip. <gasps> in fact, I can't accept any of these gifts, because the thing is, I'm not a hero. I guess you could even say, I'm a coward. A lot of stories have been going around about how I got this black guy, but I haven't had the guts to tell anyone the truth of how I really got it. See, there's this youth group my mom signed me up for, and last weekend they had... the big hoedown. Lucky us, we all got to learn to square dance. Being a hero, not saving the world, but square dancing. <laughs> TJ square dancing? That's a good one. <laughs> That beats a good old game of kickball. It's America's game, Vince. The sport no kid should miss out on. Lucky out, Dead Whopper! No decent kid, that is. It's mine! So I said, like, as if, and then Daddy snapped his fingers and said, Wolfgang, have this busboy fired! <laughs> <laughs> oh, TJ! I blame myself! Oh, man, I can hardly look! 
caught the stupid ball. My doctor said I broke my collarbone. The less I move, the quicker it'll heal. How long is that going to take? Five weeks. Five weeks? Well, I can't help you beat the fifth graders at kickball, but at least I can come give them the evil eye. And just where do you think you're going, young man? Uh, recess? Oh, no, you aren't. School policy strictly prohibits children with serious injuries from setting foot on the playground. But it's recess. Where else am I supposed to go? Across the hall and down the stairs to room 51. <laughs> you there! Put down that banana! Now, don't that paint a pretty picture? Debt loser spending his recess in room 51 with... The Pale Kids. The Pale Kids? Who are they? The Pale Kids are the kids who actually choose to stay inside during recess. The uncoolest of the uncool. Uncooler than me? And TJ's gonna be their new buddy. Why, I wouldn't be surprised if TJ became a Pale Kid. Don't listen to him, TJ. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, yeah? Ever heard of Tiny Sedgwick? Who's he? Three years ago, Tiny Sedgwick was a regular kid, just like you and me. But one day, everything changed. It was a Monday. The recess bell just rung and all the kids came out to play. Then, out limps Tiny Sedgwick. The doofus had a busted leg from playing pickle with his shoes untied. So now, instead of going out in the playground, guess where Finster sends him? To room 51. And they never saw him again. The Pale Kids got Tiny Sedgwick. And they're gonna get you too, Pale Weiler. <laughs> Pale Weiler, I kill myself. Now where was I? Ah oh, yes, room 51. March, young man! No, TJ, don't go! Relax, guys. You don't gotta worry about me. I'm having nothing to do with any pale kids. Hark, an outsider! Gondor Primulan outsider. Live well and thrive. I am Frank. These are my comrades. Rodney. Howdy! Steve. Aloha, amigo. And Carl. <laughs> Steve, readings, please. It appears he has fractured his clavicle. Hence his assignment to recess here in room 51. Very well. Make yourself at home, newcomer. Anyway, back to Waterloo, where Wellington is holding off Napoleon's army. So what was it like, TJ? Did they try to erase your brain? One of them seemed to be trying, but I scared him off. That's my man. Hang tough, Tej. Us is us, and them is them. And you are meant to be one of us. I know, Spinelli. And don't worry, I got him right where I want. I've designed a super tech jet that reconfigures into a robot. Brilliant, Steve. But regard this, if you will. My robot turns into a flying dinosaur. Note the receptors here and here for wing regeneration spores. Groovy. <laughs> Red leader one, red leader one. Hey there! Yeah. Uh, we were just wondering if you wanted to play with us? Oh, sorry about your thing. No harm done. Half the fun of playing with a constructor crystal roboborg is taking it apart and rebuilding it. What's the other half? Say, what are you reading there? Oh, just a little something called Senior Fusion. You probably never... Senior Fusion? You read Senior Fusion? Uh, yeah. Look, he's got issue 417. Adventure takes no siesta with a limited edition hologram cover. Ever cool, Dabra! <laughs> <laughs> Senior Fusion is the greatest. I have a signed copy of issue 57. True Fusion fans, who'd have thought it? Who would have thought it? Howdy, fellas. I thought you might like to see issue 606 hot off the press. Today is Thursday, TJ. On Thursdays, we play Daggers and Dragons. You're welcome to join us. Oh. All right. We all have characters, see? I'm Yendar, the barbarian. I am Evans, the cleric. Carl is Larrick, the ogre. And I am Kanarf, the swordmaster. We got our character names by spelling our real names backwards. So, TJ, I guess your character name would be... JT! Ah, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. JT, why don't you be our druid elf? Uh, sure. I got nothing better to do. The game begins. You are traveling through the mystic woods. A forest sprite leaps from a bubbling mineral spring. In his hands, he holds two items. A glowing blue bottle and an enchanted moaning slug. journey. An old woman reaches out to congratulate you, when suddenly a dragon appears from beneath her shawl. Roll the die, JT, roll the die. 77. Your sword bounces off the dragon. But I get a plus seven for my cloak of wonder. JT is correct. And factoring in his proximity to the Vermilion Castle, then the dragon is slain. You are master of the ninth level. Gondor Primulon, Master JT. Yes. JT, your shoulder. It seems hardly possible, but indeed five weeks have passed. Your clavicle is mended. 
You're right. In light of this, I ask you to come with us tonight. We have a surprise for you. A surprise? Like what? What are you going to do to me? If we told you that, then it wouldn't be much of a surprise. Regard, TJ. Comicopolis! Whoa! I never heard of this place. Yeah, well, they don't encourage visits from just anyone. Advance. Where do you think you're going, Pan Boy? It's okay. He's with me. <gasps> Kanar! Oh, forgive me. I didn't mean to cross a level 42 Swordmaster. I'll let you go this time. But watch out. The Sword of Ganymede now hangs perilously close to your skull. Thanks. You're welcome. But now please examine that display. Pick something out. Consider it a gift from Rodney, Steve, Carl, and me. A gift of parting. And a gift of friendship. We shall miss you. Guys, I'd be honored. But only if you allow me to repay your kindness with a little surprise of my own. <sighs> Back with my friends in the great outdoors. Let's play kickball. Lawson's already over there waiting for us to stomp. You got it, guys. But hang on a sec while my other friends catch up. Other friends? Wait a minute. You want us to play with the pale kids? I ain't playing with no pale kids. Oh, come on. They're not all that different from us. Salutations, JT. <gasps> the wretched Grundler, doughy queen of beauty. She rocks my planet. <laughs> Oh, my. I don't know what to... Well, well, what do we got here? It's Deck Paler and his Palerific Palo Pals. <laughs> Great. Now I'm starting to feel bad for him. Come on, Detweiler. Are you and your pasty posse going to play or what? That's it. They're going down. This is a kickball. All you have to do is kick it. Aha! Thus the name kickball. Steve, you're up first. Good luck. <laughs> Jack himself with the ball. <laughs> You're out of there. The game should be called kickball and run to first base. Oh, no, Detweiler. No more pale kids. My team's going to die from laughing. <laughs> oh, man, that doofus in the glasses. What a riot. And then that loser friend of his. <laughs> Knock it off, Detweiler. No more. That <laughs> does it. Uh-oh, we got to stop that kid, Teach. He can't take on Lawson. He's not just a kid, Vince. He's a level 42 swordmaster. If you have a problem with my friends or me, then courteously tell it directly to me. Okay, I got a problem with you. As it so happens, I have a problem with you. Well, good, because I don't like you. Nor am I particularly fond of you. Oh, I yeah, just look kind. at you. You, yeah, you, yeah. geek! <gasps> You're calling me a geek? I call him as I see him. All right, that's it. I'm going to do to you what you did to Tiny Sedgwick. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? You strange, confused lawn dweller. I am Tiny Sedgwick. <laughs> but Tiny, I, you're tall. I have thrived. I am happy. But how can you be happy hanging out with those guys? They're my friends. Tiny would rather hang out with those guys than us? I need to lie down. I appreciate your attempt to include us in your game, TJ. But to be honest, I'd rather stay inside. Too many geeks like Lawson out here. Gondor Primulon, JT. Live well and thrive, Knarf. Well, TJ, apparently geekiness is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, there's just one thing I don't understand. How do you do that thing with your fingers? Well, guys, if you don't mind sitting out kickball, I'd be happy to show you.